Ladies and gentlemen, today I am here to bring you an anime review on Akatsuki no Yona. With this episode, we get an introduction to the Green Dragon along with some characterization and some hints to his backstory. So, I want to say his entire focus or kind of hints towards freedom in this episode makes me assume, since the times set slightly in medieval times, it makes me assume that the green dragon in the past might have been some form of slave. I I'm going to assume that. That's me fury crafting right now because for him to be kind of focused on freedom, not, not wanting to be controlled by a master and stuff like that, it makes me assume that he at one time or point in the past, he was either a slave or someone that was watching over him or whatever was kind of like a tyrant or a dictator to him. So, I want to assume that his backstory has something to do with being a slave but besides that the characterization of the green dragon in this episode it's instantly and easy to tell that he loves his women oh dude he's a womanizer i mean seriously he went with hawk to go check out other women and stuff so it just shows you that he loves his women and even though he doesn't like being controlled by like other masters and stuff like that i'm going to assume that him really liking women wanting to protect women is going to eventually play into yona's favor because she is a woman and if he does want to protect women and watch over them and stuff like that i'm going to assume that he's eventually going to join sides with yona and help her out because she is a female but most likely there's going to be other things too behind that but I want to assume one of the main key features of why he's going to probably join their party is because Yona is a female. So, the thing I want to dive into is the overall characterization or the difference of this dude, this green dragon. Like, he is very, very, very different from the other dragons. And that's what I really love about Akatsuki no Yona. All these different dragons, like the white dragon, the blue dragon, and the green dragon, they're all different. I can't wait to see the yellow dragon. The reason why is, is because we've seen the different, like, characteristics of these characters over the based on where they grow up. Like, the white dragon, if you're pampered and you have, you're like, your birthright has told you since the very beginning that you need to protect the king or queen or whoever, when you are the white dragon, that's how you turn out. When you're the blue dragon and you're treated like a monster, that's how you turn out. If you're the green dragon, I'm guessing your freedom is stripped away from you or something like that, that's how you turn out. And from this episode, it just, I love that. I fucking love how Akatsuki no Yona really tries to give these different backstories and characterizations to these other characters, and they're just so different from each other. Now, there is some form of similarities between Hawk and this green dragon, though, because they both went out of the way to protect that woman in this episode so maybe the green dragon and hawk are going to be able to get along besides the other dragons because as we know the white dragon doesn't really like hawk that much i mean they, they like each other they think of each other as friends but we know for a fact they have their you know uh, bickering arguments all the time so i'm going to assume that the green dragon eventually is going to get onto hawk's side if they you know continue on and they maybe have arguments in the future but moving past that the thing is i'm trying to figure out what is the green dragon's like dragon power as we know each individual dragon has their own power and i'm going to assume that his power is like agility or something like his legs gave him power like he could jump really high he's very fast and i'm assuming that it either has something to do with agility or his legs are just incredibly strengthened i mean it might be like you know kija's hand how is kija's hands like you know a dragon's hand maybe the green dragon's legs are kind of like a dragon i mean that that's what i'm assuming because he was jumping or cr incredibly like fast like all over the buildings and stuff he jumped like into the middle of the ocean onto a pirate ship and i'm like holy shit now speaking of the pirate ship that is a plot point that's building up in this episode and you can tell is going to be one of the main central plot points of this arc and maybe even future arcs because this leader of the earth tribe this little section of the earth tribe is actually importing illegal drugs from the Kai Empire. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. So it, it just shows you we have some corrupt officials, government officials in this little section of the Earth Empire. And these pirates that the Green Dragon is working for is kind of stopping these government officials importing illegal goods. The reason why is, is because the Earth Tribe actually wanted to import this, like, illegal drugs from the Kai Empire to sell it to the citizens of the city they watch over before they can make a killing and make a lot of money which is very fucked up because it just shows you they don't care about their civilians at all and that also goes to show you the different mentality of the green dragon and the pirates too they're not really 
necessarily bad because the pirates from what we saw in this episode they were not allowed to kill any of the government officials i mean it would have been easier to kill them off because it would have caused it to where they could get rid of all these bad people but the captain of the pirates the person that reminds me of sibiel system if you know who i'm talking about the reason why because the voice but the actual captain she states like i will not allow you to kill any of them just let them uh, adrift put them on a boat tie them up and let them adrift and it just shows you the characteristics of the pirates and what side they're really fighting for. They're, like, fighting for the people. And I'm going to assume that maybe these pirates, you know, kind of came from the Kai Empire or something. I wonder exactly where they came from because what makes their motive to really save the people? Because pirates, they don't usually help out people. Usually. Unless you're in One Piece. But... Usually pirates have some form of thing to gain when they're trying to help people, so I wonder what the real in-game goal is. But the captain wants to gain some power, which in turn has it to where the green dragon is going to hunt down Hawk in the next episode, which might lead us to where he, the green dragon will meet Yona and everybody else. So that is pretty much this episode of Akatsuki no Yona. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.